Hey everyone, it's Justin Hillgrove with Imps and Monsters. Behind the camera is Marcus Young of Lasting Impression Art. And welcome to the vlog. And remember to like, uh, comment, subscribe, share, um, if you're into that sort of thing. So uh, anyway, today uh, I'm kind of excited to share our production copy of, or maybe it's a pre-production copy, I'm not sure of Tyler Sigmund's Crows, which is our, our little game company, Junk Spirit Games. We just, we got this in hand just a little while ago and we were waiting to share it until we got the nice metal, little metal coins in hand as well. So we're gonna do a little bit of a unboxing for you. So, oops, so what you're looking at is the deluxe version. We, we kickstarted it last year. It's a game that was Originally designed by Tyler Sig Sigman of uh, Red Hook, uh, the, he worked on Darkest Dungeon, um, among other things. That's kind of what he's uh, most well known for right now. But uh, we we kind of took on this project. Dave Girard did some additional gameplay and, and tweaked the rules. I did the artwork, and um, Travis Torgerson, he did all the graphic design and, and layout and getting all the files together. So it's been a long time coming waiting for waiting for this. It, it's about, let's see, when did we submit the files? Maybe, I want to say four or five months ago. Um, I could be way off. <laughs> but uh, uh, it, we, we finally have the, the, this pre-production in hand but what you're looking at right now is we we did a sleeve it's like a numbered uh, a numbered sleeve that has some spot uv on it which is cool it's a uh, it's black uh, black ink on black um I, I remember in high school i had a nine inch nails shirt that was kind of the same way and it was my it was my favorite shirt i think uh because you could only see it under certain light but um so anyway pretty cool Here's the, the cover. It's a nice matte cover. The manufacturer is Panda Manufacturing, and they do a great job on, like, the boxes are nice and sturdy and thick. So really, really like how that turned out. You can see the little, all the little layout that uh, Travis did there. We've got our, our rule book with our little quick reference guide on the back. It's got some of the, um, oh, I guess it's just got one of the little ink sketches I did while I was working on it. And some additional rules, I think for the, just just for the deluxe version. And you get some, some nice punch boards. They're actually really thick. I play a lot of games and some of the, some of the punch boards aren't as thick as this. These are really nice. I'm not going to punch them out though. You got little mana tokens and the, the little tiles. Uh, Crows is a tile placement game. You're placing uh, the tiles down. You're putting your little pieces, uh, your pieces down as well. Um, and moving little crow meeples around the board as you play. So now this is really cool. Uh, there's some spot UV. And when I say spot UV, you can kind of see, I'm, I, I, I'm hoping you can see on the camera. Um, that there's little spots that are that are shiny. They kind of make make them some things stand out. Um, same with on this one, you can see like the lava pool is nice and shiny. Uh, looks really cool in person. <clears throat> We've got uh, the characters here. It's a four-player game, and oh. We, we wanted to make sure that when you're playing, you have you always have the choice of what you want to, what what character you want to play. So if you're the green guy, you can be this green tree guy, for example, Burl, or um, Alyssa Kadava here at the uh, little. We we try to do a, a guy on one side and a girl on the other side. And we've got a all the spell cards here, and those are the small size cards. These are um, uh, what do you call the big cards? Uh, 
yeah, I forget what it's called. <clears throat> but anyway, these are the these are the small size cards. <clears throat> Tarot size cards. That's what those are called. Uh, and then he, here's the player pieces. And these are made of wood. They stand up really nice little obelisks. And that is the queen crow. And it comes with a little bag here, just full, chocked full of crow meeples. There's a whole bunch in here. <clears throat> and there's a few different, let's see, a few different crows. Let's see if I can find them. So those, I think those might be all the different crows. Can you see those okay? All right. And then the, we unlocked a lot of stretch goals on the deluxe that included several other, um, other crows, which ha do different things than the normal crows do, um, as well as little crow familiars that each player gets. So, <clears throat> oh, and the, a fifth obelisk, which is actually is a, an AI if, in case you want to play solo, if I remember correctly, it's been a while. I've actually... Since now, since this, I've actually been started working on another game, so um, I've already forgotten a lot of a lot of stuff. So uh, the last thing we were waiting for was the coins that I kind of was was showing you before. Now these these came in; they look pretty good, but the the color is wrong. We're, we're actually we need to go back and talk to them and uh, make sure that when they when they're actually producing the coins, hopefully they haven't already produced them, um, but. When they produce them, they're, they're going to be changing the colors a little bit. But I do really like um, how the coins uh, turned out. So I'm really happy with those. They're two-sided. Um, if, if you were watching the Kickstarter at all, um, you would have seen the little graphics for them. But on, on one side, you've got like a live crow. And on the other side, you've got a, um, a crow skeleton, basically. So we've got that one. We've got the little queen coins and just some little crow skulls and and they're they're metal so and then uh, we, we also have this we always do a coin that goes along with the game uh, again the color is wrong for this it's actually going to be like a metallic black with a black wash on it kind of like the the wash on on this so you can see how the cracks are a little bit darker um, it'll be like that as well. So hopefully, <laughs> I guess we'll see. But um, that's that's pretty much it. It was a lot of fun to work on this game. Very gratifying to see it come out. Excited to actually have it in my hands and be able to play it with my kids. I, I haven't gotten to play it with my family at all. Um, I guess I could have with the cardboard ones we made, but um, I was excited and wanted to wait for all the, the good components to come out. So Looking forward to getting this into the people's hands that backed it and really appreciate everyone who, who did who did back us and, and show us a lot of support and commented and all that too. So uh, thanks for that. Um, anyway, um, that's it. All right, so I'm here at Emerald City Comic Con 2018 with my son Calvin and his friend Caden Steele. Uh, and they actually, actually I'll let, let, let them tell you uh, what, what's exciting about today for you guys. We get to sit in a booth all day and we get to work. <laughs> it's pretty fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's my first Comic Con, so that's exciting. Yeah. That's good. And I get to take him to his first Comic Con, so right. that's good too. And. Oh, yeah. So we made this comic, <laughs> I guess. I mean, that's not important, but you know. Yeah. All right, so yeah, uh, Calvin and uh, Caden are releasing their first comic today, so we're, we're excited about that. Had some people come by and buy it and have them sign it. So what was what was that like uh, releasing your first comic? Uh, I feel very accomplished. Yeah, I, I got to finish something. Mm. Yeah, it's it's always good to start, but it's always the most hardest part to end it. <laughs> yeah, and you guys are tell me how old you are. Uh, I'm 15. I turn 16 next week. All right. Uh, so tell me a little bit about the process you guys went through to to make your comic. Well, it began with a lot of uh, storyboarding and extra just doodles and stuff that we would do in our spare time. And then I finally rung up Calvin and said, hey, you want to design some human characters for a comic? 
And he said that he was way ahead of me. We messed around for a, about a year, and then we finally did it. Yeah. yeah. So it was a long process, but it feels feels good to be done, right? And have yes. something out. Yes. You guys are already working yes. on issue two? Yes. We're about we're 95% done with the initial thumbnailing, but we might go back and tweak some things before we start finally drawing. Yes. Right. We have definitely learned a lot coming yeah. to Comic-Con and seeing everybody else's stuff, and so it's a good yeah. good way to learn. All right. Well, you want to share some of the things you learned from working on this comic? Well, we learned how to um, really work with dialogue <laughs> and, I mean, I don't know, proportions, camera angles, backgrounds. I don't. I hardly ever draw backgrounds on my own drawings. But yeah. Take it back or whatever. Right. Okay. So, uh, oh, I learned that everything requires lots of work, even though it may not seem like it, but it does. Okay. And yeah. then as artists, uh, what, what kind of things inspire you guys? Uh, trying to be better than other people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Sometimes, yeah. I like to look at other people's art and see how they do, and I'm like, I learned from that, too. But, like, watching a good TV show always is cool. Or anything, really. Anything can inspire. And do you have any advice for other people that are trying to get started like this? Line thickness. Focus on your line thickness. <laughs> that was my bad. Yep. Okay. Uh, also, uh, have fun with it. Do what you want. Have fun. That's what really counts. <laughs> that's that's true. It is a long process, so having having fun the whole time makes a big difference. Huh? Oh yeah. So I would never have been able to finish if it wasn't just lots of fun. Yeah. All right. Well, um, how how would someone find out more about you guys or your art? How would how would they see more of your art? Well, uh, you can always go look at our Instagrams, and that's pretty much it for me. Yeah. That works. Yep. Instagram. What's your Instagram? Oh, uh, mine is Mad Baboon. Mine's Kelsberries because Kelsberries are ultimately the best kind of berries. That is so weird. All right. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, thanks true. a lot, guys. All right. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumb up and subscribe to our channel. If there's anything that you'd like to see Justin and I cover in a future video, please leave a comment in the section below. We'll see you next time.